Welcome back. It's Tammy here at Frog Hill Education Station. And I am all enthused about sharing with you a book called Masterpieces. And I am not saying it incorrectly. It is actually called Math to Pieces. It's so cool. So we're going to do some math practice and learn about Impressionist painting. I'm going to get my glasses on. Okay, now I want you to look at this painting. You would see it in an art museum. It's a very famous one. Painted by Edgar Degas a French Impressionist painter in the year 1874, and it's, it's called Ballet Rehearsal on Stage. And then Greg wrote a little poem for you. A ballerina strikes a pose, another rests her weary toes. Edgar Degas liked to portray the varied scenes of a ballet. Can you make seven with those shoes? Three clever ways earn rave reviews. So we have to make seven out of the groups of shoes. See the groups? We have a group of two ballet slippers. We have a group of one, two, three, four, five ballet slippers. One, two, three, four. A group of one, two, three, and a group, well, just one. Okay, and we're going to combine these groups to make seven and find out, figure out how many different ways we could do it. And he says, you should be able to find three different ways. So we could just kind of experiment and figure out a strategy on how to do this. Let's pick this group right here. One, two, three, four. Now what we could do is subtract four from seven. And what would we be getting? Three, one, two, three. So if we combine one, two, three, four, plus one, two, three, that would equal seven, right? So I'm gonna write this down. Four plus three equals seven. See? So that's one way. Now we've got to find two more ways to make seven ballet slippers. Okay, let's think. One, two, three, four, five. And how many more would we need? Five plus Two. Five plus two. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five plus two equals seven. Five plus two equals seven. Okay, one more way we got to figure out, and we can use either adding them together and picking a group and adding them together and combining them or we can subtract seven from one of them. Let's do the subtraction method, okay? Now, we have seven. Hmm. Minus one would be six. Is there a group of six here? One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three. No, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. So we can't do it that way, can we? No. So let's see. <laughs> one, two, three, four. We already used four. One, two, three, four, five. We already used five. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. That would be only six. So hmm, that's tricky, isn't it? One, two, three, one, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ha ha. We'll have to combine three of the groups. One, two, three, four, plus two, five, six, plus one is seven. Do you see that? Okay. That was tricky, huh? Okay, so we have four. Plus two plus one equals seven. So we did it. Three ways of making seven. All right, so we should give ourselves rave, rave reviews and applause. Bravo, right? Yay. Okay, let's try a different one, okay? This poem is called Good Impression. And that is a painting painted by Claude Monet, if I am correct. Yes, Claude Monet. And we, you would find that in a museum as well because it's very, very popular and it's a classic painting. Claude Monet. It, this one is called White Water Lilies, painted in, the in 1900 by Claude Monet. And if you can remember this, everybody's going to be impressed with you because you will know art history and you'll be very cultured. Okay. Claude Monet once grew quite fond of poplars haystacks, and a pond. His little brush strokes, colored bright, captured them in different light. Try grouping lilies to make eight. Four smart ways would be just great. Four different ways to make eight. Okay, so here's the groups. We have one, two, three, four. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have a group of three, a group of two, a group of one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, single one. Okay, so we want to do the subtraction way. One, two, three, four, five. Subtract five, five from eight, and you get three. So we can find the group of three. I see it, do you? Right there. Five plus three equals eight. Yay, a round of applause. Five plus three equals eight. See? So that's one way. We're gonna have to hurry this up. Okay, another way, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we need a group of two added to six to make eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six plus eight, I mean, sorry, six plus two equals eight. Six plus two equals eight. So that's two ways, we need to find two more ways. And I want you to count with me and think about it. Okay, now, one, two, three, four, five. We've already done that. One, two, three, four. Four. Subtracted, subtract four from eight. That leaves four. So can we make, ha, let's be a little creative here. How about a group of three? So we've got four plus three, and we know from the previous page that that equals seven, so how much more do we need to make eight? One. So we have four plus three plus one. So that's another one. I'm proud of you. Four plus three plus one equals eight. Are you writing it down? Are you practicing with me? I hope so. 
It's fun to practice math, especially using art and pictures. Oh, wait, we still have to. I forgot to do the other one. We have to meet the criteria, huh? He wanted us to do four, and that was only three. So we're going to do one more using these lily pads and not rush things. Okay. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we already did six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We already did that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We already did that. This is getting tricky. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this is good. We found another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have five plus two plus one. We did it. Five plus two plus one equals eight. So now we have fed up with the criteria and we get an A plus, right? A plus, plus, plus. We figured it out. And we had fun doing it, didn't we? April showers. The umbrellas. This painting is called The Umbrellas. Remember what it looks like. Because it's really impressive and really neat to know the history of art. Remember it's Impressionism. The Umbrellas was painted by Pierre August Renoir. And he was also French. From 1881 to 1886. That was a long, long time ago. And he liked to paint umbrellas. And this is a poem that uh, the author wrote for us, which is also very artsy and cool. Pleasant times are never far when viewing artwork by Renoir. In simple moments he delight, a smile makes his day feel bright. Please group umbrellas to make nine. Five clever ways would be divine. Five clever ways. He's raising the bar. This is getting more and more challenging. All right, make nine. All right, well, let's see. We have group of one, two, three, four, a group of one, two, three, four, five, and I'm pretty clever. Did you notice that that makes nine? Four plus five makes nine. Watch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can write down four plus five, equals nine. I'm going to erase the other ones. Four plus five equals nine. And if you could figure it out faster than Tammy, then you should try to do that. It won't hurt my feelings. There's always somebody faster than me, huh? Okay. And it's kind of fun to compete sometimes if you're playing a game. So, you can figure it out, and if you're faster than I can do it, then that's good. That's terrific. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many more do you need to find before you can make nine? Think about it, and I'm going to try things out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. 
Ooh, but wait a minute. If we have seven, we only need two more. And it's, there's the group right here. Did you see that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it would be six plus two plus one. Six plus two plus one equals nine. All right, let's try to speed this up a little bit. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, four plus three plus two. Four plus three plus two equals nine. That's three. We need, can you remember how many he asked us to do? Five. Okay, five ways. Okay, now, how about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did we do that one yet? Six plus three? I don't think so. Six plus three. Six plus three equals nine. That's four ways. And one more and we're good to go. So, let's see. Can you think of any other ways? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we already did that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four plus two plus three. We already did that one. It's getting trickier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we already did that one. That was like the first one. That's obvious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five plus three plus one. Yes! Yay! Five plus three plus one. Five plus three plus one equals nine. And we did it. Good job. I'm proud of you. Well, we're all learning and we're all growing and we never stop learning. Never, ever stop learning. It's a lifetime of learning. Have a good night. Bye.